let's talk about footwork. Specifically, let's talk about your trail foot in the golf swing. Now, many talk about footwork, but few give you many details. It's always just get this feeling. Sometimes they'll have you pretend like you're throwing a baseball or something else, but they don't really teach you what the feet are supposed to do. I'm going to go into depth and give you multiple drills so you can figure out what your trail foot is supposed to do. Now, this is going to be a series. It's not a one-off. Like I said, there are multiple drills here to learn how your trail foot is supposed to work. At the end, you know exactly what you're supposed to do. First, let's talk about your stance. Specifically, your foot position. Now, I want your trail foot to be at 90 degrees to the line. I don't want it out. I don't want it in 90 degrees to the line. It'll make sense later. Your lead foot should be splayed out a little bit. It should not be square to the line. Your lead foot should have a little splay out. So it's square to the line, splayed out. Also, let's talk about your shoes. You must wear spikes. I know there are a lot of people who like to wear tennis shoes, particularly to the driving range for some people. They feel like, oh, it's just the driving range. I don't need it. You need spikes. When you start having good footwork, you start driving your trail foot into the ground and you're using that ground. If you're not wearing spikes, your foot is going to twist and slide on the ground. And if your foot starts twisting and sliding, then you're going to learn how to hit without using your footwork. Your body wants to keep you balanced. So if you're going to lose your balance because your feet are sliding out from under you, your body is going to change your swing. So even when you're practicing on the driving range, you must wear spikes so you'll get that same feeling of driving into the ground and using the ground forces. Without spikes, you'll just be all over the place. Now your trail foot is one of your main power sources. Without spikes on your feet or without using it, you're going to lose a lot of power in the swing. You'll be surprised when we get to the end of this that when I show you how to use your trail foot, you'll be hit, able to hit it just as far just using your trail foot to drive your swing as you can using all these other muscles without using your trail foot. Like I said, this is a series. This is part one. You need to watch the whole series. Each series will have a little bit of a drill.